Hi, I'm Jared Hyman, an assistant professor of chemistry at Elon University. Today we're looking at lycopodium powder, which demonstrates the effect of particle size and surface area on flammability. These experiments demonstrate the danger of locations such as flour mills, grain elevators, and lumber mills, where the air is filled with a fine, flammable particulate. This demonstration uses lycopodium powder, which is a very fine particulate derived from the spores of club moss. Other flammable particles can also work, such as non-dairy creamer or sawdust, though these tend to exist as larger particles and are less explosive than lycopodium. Everything you need for this demonstration is available in the Lycopodium Demonstration Kit from Carolina. This kit contains a funnel, rubber tubing, a rubber bulb, a pipette, a candle, a can with a one inch hole drilled in the bottom, a wire screen, cotton, spoon, matches, and a ring stand or tripod. For all of these demonstrations, it is important to observe proper safety procedure, including wearing personal protective equipment and having a fire extinguisher nearby. While lycopodium burns completely without residue, perform these demonstrations away from other flammable substances. Note that rubber gloves are not worn due to the risk while working with fire. Any unburned lycopodium can be cleaned up with a damp cloth and placed in the garbage. Any combustion reaction requires the presence of three key components, fuel, an oxidizing agent, and a source of ignition. For our reaction, Lycopodium powder will serve as our fuel, oxygen in the air as our oxidizer, and a match or candle as the source of ignition. All three of these must be present for any combustion to occur. As we'll see here, the proportion of fuel and oxidizer will greatly vary the intensity of combustion. First, we'll combine all of the components of our combustion reaction. We'll take a small amount of lycopodium powder, about half a spoonful, and place it in the presence of our oxidizing agent, oxygen. Holding a lit match to the powder, we observe that it burns and rapidly goes out in lack of sufficient oxygen, much like a car requiring an adjustment to its fuel-air ratio. We can increase the availability of oxygen for this reaction by forcing the lycopodium powder into a mist in the air. To do this, we will fill a pipette tip with a small amount of the powder by placing the tip into the lycopodium from the previous step and using a rubber bulb to collect the powder into the pipette. With the bulb on the end of the pipette, hold the pipette tip near a candle flame and gently squeeze, forcing the powder into the air around the flame. It is important not to point the pipette in the direction of any spectators, as the flames may extend several feet. Clearly from this demonstration, we can observe the effect of excess oxygen on a combustion reaction. We can further intensify this reaction by adding additional fuel. We will prepare the apparatus for this step using a funnel placed through a one-hole stopper. Put a small amount of cotton at the bottom of the funnel and place a spoonful of lycopodium in the funnel on top of the cotton. Place the stopper into a metal can and mount the can on a ring stand or tripod. Position the wire mesh on top of the funnel in the container and place a candle on top or just to the side of the funnel. Attach the rubber tubing to the bottom of the funnel and connect the rubber bulb to the other end of the tubing. Standing as far back as possible, squeeze but do not release. Once the explosion has happened, you can detach, release the bulb, and reattach it to use up any additional lycopodium powder remaining in the funnel. Finally, we can set up the apparatus in an identical manner to the previous experiment, except this time, place a metal lid on top of the can. Again, stand back, attach the bulb, and squeeze as we observe the gases formed blow the lid off into the air. Through these experiments, we've seen the importance of an oxidizing agent, a fuel, and a source of ignition to a combustion reaction. Also, we notice that the difference between a small fire and an explosion can be caused by a change in surface area of the fuel, as well as oxidizer availability. Everything you need to do this demonstration in your lab is available in the Lycopodium Demonstration Kit. Carolina has experts who can assist you with any of your science demonstration needs. Visit us at carolinachemistry.com to see our complete line of products and kits.